Hello, everyone. It's Monday, and it's time for our uh, uh, weekly conversation uh, with Father Pat, who um, is uh, away visiting uh, family today. Good morning, Father Pat. Thanks for making time for us. Oh, good morning. Yeah, so I I finally uh, got the chance to go visit my mom so we could celebrate Christmas um, because of my COVID, because of, uh, uh, well, she was sick. It turned out she tested negative for COVID. But uh, we were finally going to get to celebrate Christmas and then my uh, with my sister and her family and my mom, but my niece wound up uh, get testing positive for COVID. And so uh, we once again, our, our Christmas uh, celebration was canceled, postponed and all. So like everyone, we're all dealing with COVID. Fortunately, it's, it hasn't been too severe for for any of us. But, uh, you know, we all continue to deal with that. But it's it's good to be with you here this uh, this this Monday morning. Um, you know the the my my article in the uh, bulletin uh, yesterday um, talked about uh, talked about the, the celebration of the Epiphany, which is kind of strange because yesterday is the uh, was the second Sunday of ordinary time, or at least the the Sunday of the second week of ordinary time, because there was no first Sunday of ordinary time. But anyway, um, the, with the celebration of the Epiphany, the, um, the Antiphon at evening prayer talks about the celebration of the Epiphany being three mysteries. Um, the mystery of the, uh, the Magi, the one we normally think of with the Epiphany, the, the three kings, um, but it also says that Epiphany celebrates the baptism of the Lord and the wedding feast of Cana, which have been our, our gospels for the last three weeks. Uh, and uh, this week and the second Sunday of Ordinary Time, here in cycle C of the lectionary, we, we hear the wedding feast of Cana. And, you know, each of those epiphanies brings us into a deeper and deeper relationship with Christ brings us deeper and deeper into the mystery of that relationship, and and ultimately here as we uh, contemplate the uh, the gospel of the wedding feast of Cana, we uh, we recognize how our relationship is is uh, our relationship with Christ is similar to a relationship between a husband and wife, and Genesis tells us that the relationship between a husband and wife, that they become one flesh. And in that same way, we become all one in the body of Christ. And, and uh, our, our relationship with Christ is more than just, a, just an intellectual exercise. It's more than just being good friends with him. But it is really, truly a, a transformation. The, uh, the deacon, when he mingles the water and wine together, uh, says, um, may we come to share in Christ's divinity as he came to share in our humanity. And that's ultimately what our whole celebration of Christmas is about. It's about us sharing in that divinity of Christ, becoming one in the body of Christ. And so as we start up here in this ordinary time, as we begin this new year, uh, we should stop and reflect on that, what that means and how we act. Obviously, the, the most important aspect is that, you know, as we become one in the body of Christ, we become one with each other. We become one in that love of Christ. And so we must allow ourselves to be filled with that love of Christ and then share that love of Christ with everyone we meet. So we begin this uh, this new year, uh, recognizing uh, how we need to have those new year resolutions. We need to have those new thoughts of how we're going to reach out in love to our family, our friends, and to our strangers and our enemies, everyone we've got around us. Father Brett, thank you so much uh, for taking time this morning to talk to us. And um, right. uh, say hi to your mom from everyone at SSJ. All right. We'll see you. Thank you. Bye-bye.